welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and go check out our Instagram pages where I post daily original photos of our life, our animals, and everything in between. So for today's video, I haven't really done a water monitor feeding video in a while. So today I'm gonna show you a little update on how we feed our monitors. So I have gone over this in past videos, but if you are new to the channel, we will just go over it once more. Um, we vary our diet with, or not our diet, it's not my diet, it's our monitor's diet, but we vary their diet between fish, chicken, uh, mice, rats, all kinds of different things to kind of give them a varied diet. And then anything that does not have bones in it, so or is not a whole prey item, I should say, we supplement with the uh, Rapashi calcium with multivitamin, and we do this at least once a week. Um, sometimes if I'm feeding them multiple meals during the week and it's chicken or maybe it's salmon or some kind of fish without bones, maybe I'll do it more than once just to make sure they're getting adequate calcium, vitamins, and minerals that they're not going to get from a whole prey item. As far as frequency, um, little baby Arlo, who is kind of napping back here right now, um, we feed him every day to every other day. It depends on the meal type as well as the meal size. Sometimes if I feed him two pinkies or maybe a fuzzy and some uh, chicken chunks, I might skip the next day and then go back to maybe every other day. So he gets, oh, there's like one fly in here. <laughs> so he gets fed um, about five to six times a week, give or take. Uh, like I said, depending on the meal itself and the meal size. Um, as far as our other two monitors, we have a male and a female black roughneck uh, monitor. They are a, I guess you could sit, I consider them a smaller species, but that's because I've had Asian water monitors in the past. Um, I think they are actually considered a medium size monitor species. Uh, our female is about three, three and a half feet. Our male, I want to say, is probably about four and a half, pushing five feet now. Um, so I will typically feed them every other day to every two days, depending on the size of the meal. I only like to feed them rats or mice as their whole prey item once a week. Uh, rats are a little bit higher in the fat content, and we like to keep our monitors more on the lean side. Our male, when we received him, uh, the gentleman who was caring for him before fed him predominantly rats and he was a little overweight when we got him. So we have really switched up his diet and it's taken a long time to get him to a fairly decent uh, body mass. Kind of what we really want to see. We have a little bit more progress to make. The female is really, really good as far as her size. And so we're kind of just trying to maintain that at this point. Um, but they predominantly get trout, salmon, as far as fish. Um, that's just because that's what I can get. That's what we can go and we fish in our local area. So we bring home fresh stuff straight out of our streams. And then we also do a lot of chicken chunks, turkey chunks, uh, some kind of lean bird. Um, I am working on getting them whole chicks or whole quail. We just haven't gotten that lined up yet, but that is my goal is to give them a whole prey item as far as a bird. Um, so that is predominantly what we feed them right now. It seems to be working well. They seem to be thriving. So let's go ahead and show you some footage of them eating.
right, everybody. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing our monitors eat today. And of course, we'll always keep you updated, especially on little Arlo. He is growing really fast now. It took us a little while to get him eating on, on a regular basis. When we first got him, he wasn't eating regularly. And now he is just a garbage disposal. So he is growing really quickly. He's had a few growth spurts and he needs a cage upgrade. I've said this in a few videos. All of our monitors are gonna be getting cage upgrades this summer. Um, we're just not quite there. We're still ordering things. Um, I don't know if you've ever ordered anything to order as many light fixtures, heat panels, thermostats and things, uh, as many as I need, it is a lot more cost efficient to order in bulk. And when you order in bulk, sometimes it takes a little longer. So it's probably gonna be more towards the end of summer at this point, but we are working on it to give these guys a better home, a bigger home to roam in and climb and all those good things because I, our monitors right now do not have enough climbing space for the species that they are and we wanna give them the best environment we can. So our monitors come out quite frequently um, for enrichment in our sunroom and, and so forth. So they get a lot of attention. I stay home every day they are interacted with, which is really good to keep them tame because obviously monitors of this size, uh, you don't want a nippy monitor, that's no bueno. <laughs> so anyways, thank you again for watching and we will see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay sane, Get out there and make your own footprints. Bye.